Today, we're gonna be fishing with this $25 budget fishing kit. I went by Dick's Sporting Goods a few weeks back and I ran upon this juicy looking bad boy right here. And we're gonna go ahead and open it up, get into it and see what we got inside. So this is actually the Strike King Rage in Perfect Plastics kit. And we have a bunch of different baits inside, guys. This is a good variety. And I think it's gonna be perfect for the fishing today. You know, the springtime is here and we're ready to catch some of these big fish. I have been sick the last week and I've been dying to get back out and do some fishing. And today happens to be the day. So let's go ahead and pop this thing open real quick and see what we got inside. Before we get deeper into this video, only 27% of y'all watching these videos are actually subscribed. So if you could take the time, hit the subscribe button, really helps the channel. I'd appreciate it. All right, let's open this bad boy up. We have a wide variety of soft plastics and we're gonna go ahead and go down the line and figure out what we wanna use first. So the first bait here, we actually have one of these Rage Swimmers and this is a Kai Tech style bait by Strike King. It's got a little bit of white on top and it's got a little bit of sparkle, a little bling bling. Coming up second, we have a Strike King Ocho. And I believe this is the either the five or the six inch Ocho. And this is in watermelon flake, really good natural color. That bait right there can catch fish any time of day. You can put that on a Texas rig. You can rig it up on a wacky rig. You can do just about anything with that Senko. The next bait we got is probably my favorite out of the whole batch, guys. We have a Rage Crawl here, and this is in, I want to say, Sapphire Blue. It's got a darker blue flake on top, and on the bottom, it's got that Sapphire Brighter Blue action. But the Rage Crawl is by far one of my favorite soft plastics of all time. And this bait is going to get smoked today, 100%. That has to be probably my favorite out of all these baits. Next, we got a Rage Bug in Green Pumpkin. Another similar bait to the Rage Crawl. This is just more of a beaver style bait. And this bait right here is gonna get smoked as well. And it's got just a standard natural color. It's pretty cool that we have a natural in the Rage Bug and we have more of the darker water color in uh, the Rage Crawl. Moving on, we got the Rage Menace. And this is a little natural color. It's got some bluish swirl on the bottom, a little bit of green on top. I don't use Menace as much, but back in the day when I fished a lot of tournaments, I caught a ton of fish on the old Rage Menace. That thing should get munched as well. And moving on to the final bait, this is super exciting guys, because we have not topwater fished all year and we got the Gurgle Toad right here by Strike King. And this is actually in the summer crawl color. It's got chartreuse on the bottom, green pumpkin on top, and we're gonna get to throw a dang topwater today and attempt to catch our first topwater bass of the year. Our plan is to catch a fish on every single bait in this box. There's six baits, so our goal is to catch at least one fish today on every single bait to complete the Strike King Fishing Kit Challenge. Let's hop into it, boys. All of these I think are gonna get munched pretty good today. The frog I'm a little concerned about, but I think we're gonna have some crazy stuff happen. And I wanna save this until the end of the video, guys. So make sure you stick around. We're gonna catch a bass on top water today and lock in our first top water fish of 2024. I just feel like it would be a disgrace if I don't start off with my favorite bait of all time, which is the Rage Crawl. By the way, I'm pairing this up on my Kicking Their Bass TV X Lose combo. If you guys wanna check them out, kickingtheirbass.com. They'll be linked down below. Springtime's on its way. Head over to kickingtheirbass.com, guys. Get yourself a combo and start catching some fish with me now. So we have a standard Texas rig. This is a quarter ounce bullet weight on a three aught extra wide gap hook. As simple as it gets, and that is the perfect thing to throw for this Rage Crawl. Simple Texas rig, it's the springtime. You can't go with a better rig right now. So there we go. That is our first bait of choice out of the tackle box. And we're gonna get to casting and see what we can do. So when I was out fishing two weeks ago, these fish were pushed up pretty shallow, getting ready to all be up on bed. So that's what I'm hoping is the pattern still. We did have a little cold front blow in a few days ago. And that's a little concerning, but I still think these fish should bite really good and hopefully still be positioned up on this bank. I'm gonna walk a little bit right down here. So on this side of the bank, there's only a few little crevices you can really get in. I just feel like this bank with all these trees, there's gotta be some big bass push up here. Just looks so good. You got a mixture of a bunch of lay downs, some willow trees in the water here, and some grass up on the bank. And it just looks like a prime spot for some big bass to be sitting. I'm so pumped right now, boys. I've been dying to fish. 
went to the Bassmaster Classic, met a lot of y'all. It was an awesome event. It was a great time. Got right back and got sick as a dog. And now I got that dog in me, boys. I'm telling you. I got that dog coming out. But these big old bass, they don't even know. This bank looks really good. So the weird part about this, guys, is when I was fishing this pond, you know, six months ago, this whole bank had trees and they totally wiped it out. I mean, it's completely gone, but I can still kind of feel a bunch of the uh, lay downs up on the bank. There's still a lot of wood here. And I was afraid to come back to this place recently just because of them cutting all this down. I didn't know how it was going to affect the fishing, at least for a while. So hopefully it's all primed back up again. But this spot right here, I mean, all these divots in the bank, a little bit of wood, some laydowns. I mean, this is just prime for some big fish to be sitting. I was hoping to come out here and just be like, oh my God, they're on bed everywhere. But it doesn't look like that's the case. I'm convinced there is not a single bass in this pond. They're all dead. They're all gone. They disappeared. All right. New pond, new me. First time I fished this pond, ended up hooking a 10 yonder pounder on a spinner bait. So maybe uh, today will be the day. Did not think the rage crawl was going to be the hardest bait today, <laughs> which I definitely don't think it is. I know what's going on here though guys we're not getting bites because we got a plan of catching a dang 10 pounder and i'm hung up big old tree man what in the world well there we go that is our first catch of the day it's a dang giant thank you sir thank you for biting beautiful release It was a big one, dude. Oh my gosh. I was literally hopping that bait in. I just came up and grabbed it and I stuck that fish too, man. Gosh. Well, that's our first bite of the day right there, guys. Pretty dang shallow. And I was just thinking about it. I've never seen this, but you see these little like flowers here. It was right in front of that, man. Maybe this bank's gonna be loaded. Let's hunker in right here. I'm gonna be honest too, I was at such a weird angle for a hook set. It was like one of those left hand hook sets and it just, I don't know. That's got me feeling pretty good about this though. A couple times I've gone out here, obviously the first fish I caught here was just a megalodon of a bass. Ooh. Dude, I threw all the way across the lake. Oh, there he is. Oh my God, dude, what is going on? They're hitting it. Oh, these fish might be on bed in here, man. The way he just hit it was exactly like any bed bass. Please, dude. Gosh, that was a good bite, too. It was just such a far cast. I don't think he had it all the way. They're in that springtime weird biting phase, I'll tell you that. The first fish I missed and that one. That was a gator. Freak me out, man. I got a fish. He's running. He's running. He's running. <gasps> that fish was on bed on that bank, and that was a freaking megalodon of a fish. There is no way that just happened, dude. I couldn't catch up to him. I literally couldn't catch up. These bed fish are crazy, man. He was right where that gator jumped off too. I'm talking right where he jumped off. All right, we just gotta lock it in, guys. We gotta lock it in. We've had too, too many mistakes on this couple bites, man. That was a giant. Gosh. Oh, giant. Oh, he ain't that big. Oh my gosh. 
dude i thought i had a monster right there when i leaned up he did not move i think he was stuck in the tree <laughs> oh my gosh guys well that was a dang grind to get this dang fish but that's just a little male bass right there and that is our first fish of the day on the rage crawl and that is one bait knocked off the list heck yeah thank you for biting buddy there he goes let's go man that's all we needed just needed to get on board right there but let's go ahead and go back and get our other baits all right boys well we got our first bait knocked off the list got the tackle box with me it's time to pick out bait number two keep this rolling boys i'm feeling good about it we've had three good bites we just gotta keep on fishing let's go back in the box and see what we want to work with so the rage crawl was a success had a bunch of bites that's what i thought i mean that bait is just a money bait i think we're gonna switch up to this beaver bait here which is the rage bug this is in green pumpkin this water in this pond compared to the first one's a little more clear so the rage bug is going to be perfect for this place we're still going to be putting it on the texas rig it's pretty simple go through the head of the bait rotate it all the way up and give her an old weedless hook one thing about the rage bug you can unpinch these arms unpinch the tail so you can have all that flutter action that is going to be our second bait of choice i'll tell you the rage crawl i'm more of a fan of but this uh rage bug here a little beaver presentation i'm telling you it's a really good bait especially right now too oh my gosh oh my gosh i snapped my rod I snapped my rod, but I got a fish. Oh my gosh, dude, it's a good one too. And I can't catch up with him. I literally just snapped my rod and it's a good one. Oh my gosh. Come on, come on, baby. Oh my gosh. That is so unfortunate. And I hate that because I haven't broke a rod in a minute. But oh my goodness. <laughs> she just caught us a almost a three pound bass all the way across the dang pond man oh and there she goes well <laughs> oh my gosh what just happened dude he was all the way on the other side on that tree and i threw i threw all the way out there with my slack line i could feel that fish hit it and it instantly just reeled up and torqued down on him unbelievable it sucks about my rod though and i'll tell you guys i actually had this wedged in between my dang truck bed the other day. I was praying that it wasn't gonna break, but I was already anticipating it, and sure enough, it freaking happened. With that being said, guys, that's our only bait caster with us today. We have a spinning rod in the car, so we could definitely go back and get that thing and keep on fishing. So I'm gonna take a little break, go grab this rod, and we'll get back after it. All right, boys and girls, we broke our rod, but that is not gonna hold us back today, man. I got my mock jacked out spinning combo and i have a whole idea on what i'm going to do for this uh next bait here so we got the rage bug done on that last fish we got the rage crawl done on fish number one and now we're going to move on to the ocho and this is a green pumpkin ocho we're going to be throwing it on a spinning rod this isn't the most ideal wacky rig hook but it's not bad at all it's actually one of my drop shot hooks and we're just gonna throw this thing wacky rigged. And I'm gonna tell you guys, in the springtime here, there is not a better bait than a dang wacky rig. You can catch just about anything on that. So any of this cover that we see along the bank, we can throw this wacky rig up there and just work it super slow. And we should have a lot of bites here. Yeah, that's very unfortunate about the whole rod situation. I had a feeling I was gonna break that rod and I guess today was the day, man. All right, boys and girls, we are out at a new spot and we're ready to get this dang thing started here i'm ready to start smoking some fish now we got our senko on our spinning rod and i actually ran back and got a new rod so we are chilling now and i'm actually going to put the menace on this texas rig so we're going to have the senko on the wacky rig on the spinning rod and then we're going to put the menace on the texas rig here and we're at the old hidden 10 pound pond baby and I'm hoping some of these fish in here are pushed up on the bank. And there's some big old bass in here, son. So we're going to see what happens in here. I'm glad I had some time to go grab this other rod because I need a bait caster with me today. I'm kind of worried about my mock jack too because I 
after I was just talking about it, I didn't have this rod stuck in my tailgate too. I would hate to break another rod today. <laughs> that would be a big mess. But we're gonna start off with the Ocho here and make a few casts and see if we can uh, get something rolling. Get back on board. I was also stuck in traffic for an hour, guys. I've been, I've been fiending, man. And I got a bite. We're hooked. We're hooked. Oh my gosh, baby. First cast, man. Oh gosh, it's a big one. Oh my gosh, I didn't think she was big. Oh my gosh. Come on. Come on. Stay pinned, baby. Stay pin. Oh, it's a really good one, dude. Let's go. She is putting up a ridiculous fight right now. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. Come on. Stay pin for me. That looks like a three pounder. Come on. Come on. We've lost our Senko. We just caught us a dang three pounder. Look how small her mouth is absolute football got that Senko right in the back of her mouth and that is a good three pound fish close to it guys with that fat belly small mouth fat body that is what we're looking for guys let's freaking go baby well that is bait number three knocked off the list i guess i had a good feeling in coming here and first cast we catch a dang three pounder man beautiful bass thank you baby there she goes. That is a way to kick it off right there. We had a slow start to this video, ended up breaking our rod, missing some fish, sat in an hour's worth of traffic. We didn't let it get us down, man. We kept on pushing, came out to a new spot, and boom, first cast caught a dang three pounder. All right, well, we're gonna put the spinning rod down for a minute. If we get a little, I don't know, we get a little excited, man. We might put another one of those Sankos on that wacky rig and throw it back out there. But I wanna throw this Menace for a second. So this is that natural color. It's got like a little blue sparkle, green on top. It's on the Texas rig. And if these fish are on bed on this bank, which they very well could be with us getting that bite right away, we might be smacking them here, guys. Beautiful shade line, good bit of laydowns, right at the mouth of this pocket. Let's see if we can get some more bites here. I really didn't think that fish was big, guys. I thought he was like a pounder. Ended up being like a three pound fish. And she jumped, I was like, holy cow. <laughs> Put up a great fight. I just feel like there's some more fish right here, man. That ain't gonna be the only bite we get here. I'm about to say, we're gonna catch another tree pounder. Them trees be nibbling, man. A little bit of chomp chomp. I know, I know I'm actually in a tree. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just about got sniped, boy. I can hear the dang wind breaking, dude. That puppy about smacked me in the rear end. That would have left a mark for sure. That, I literally bit my hook out. Holy cow. Today's been a day, man. It's been one of them days. <sighs> Boys and girls, we're gonna leave this pond. Not that I don't feel it. I felt like we could spend a good bit of time here and possibly get another bite. It's just, I think there's better spots for us to hit. And uh, the fact that we just caught one on the first cast and haven't had another bite kind of makes me want to just go to a new spot. So we're gonna pack up this tackle box, pack up our rods, and I will catch y'all at the next spot. All right, new spot. And we ready to rock and roll. Lost a complete tank a couple weeks ago when I was fishing here. And then before that, ended up having the craziest fish catch of my life. I know you guys probably saw that, but we'll run it back one more time. Adam, Adam, <laughs> pretty crazy guys. Had a fish thing hop out on the spinnerbait. But it's time for us to catch another fish in this pond. It's the only one that I've got in here. And I just know there's some tanks. I mean, I missed a crazy bite. We just need to take our time here and we might end up catching a really good one. So let's just throw along this bank or some of these lay downs, these little crevices in this grass and we might get lucky. That's where I got bit last week or two weeks ago. And dude, that fish was running. He hammered it, I hook set and he was just, I couldn't catch up to him. Oh. 
did. Sticks are biting today, man. This pond is ridiculous. I don't understand the crazy stuff that can happen. I literally envisioned that. I manifested that whole bite, dude. I popped it off that tree over there. My bait landed. I let it sink, and I'm like, you know what? There might be a fish here. I'm just slowly working it in. He bites it right there. I don't understand, man. Oh my god, they're on bed, dude. They're on that was a giant. Look at the boil. Oh my god, what is going on, dude? I dropped it in there and he freaking ate it right away. I didn't even have time. I didn't even have time. He broke me off, dude. Like, how does my line even get frayed that bad, bro? How was that even? Dude, that fish must have been a dang shark. I really don't even know what's going on. This pond is something, man. I guess I need to come out here and fish more. I just get, I get schooled out here, though. Like, I just get the weirdest stuff. Anything that you think that could go wrong or just go oddly good in this pond has happened. A fish that I lost two weeks ago, the weirdest bite ever. He's running 2,000 miles an hour. He should have been a track star. He shouldn't have been a fish. And two weeks prior to that, had the craziest fish catch of my life. And then we about had the craziest fish catch I've ever seen again. Like, like three times. And I have a feeling that there's a lot of fish right here. We were standing on the fish the whole time, which is crazy. Those fish are loaded on this bank. I think the first bite was a small male bass. That second one I think was big. And that third one, I don't even know what to think. That, that fish felt good too. But totally broke that one off. I mean, that one, I don't see biting. My thing is with those fish biting like that, you would think that they would be in this pocket. I mean, the last couple of times I've came here, I didn't get a bite in this pocket. I just got hammered. Dude, dude. I gotta stop this awkwardness, dude. I gotta get on my right side and I gotta lock in. There's water pumping out of that, dude. Giant. Oh my gosh. There's toads in here, dude. Straight up freaking freaks. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I literally thought I hooked it to the bottom, man. That was like almost a four pounder. Oh, it's a beautiful fish. These fish are freaking biting, man. I just can't believe if we could just hook everything that we're getting bit by. Oh my gosh, thank you, honey. Let's go, boys. Guys, I understand that we gotta catch fish on every bait, but I'm gonna throw it back in. How they're biting in this pond is crazy. We've seen some decent bites today, some decent fishing. But I'm gonna tell you, I got another fish. Oh my God, what is going on? What's going on? What's going on? All these fish are doing guys, you know, here in the springtime, those bass, they'll just grab it. They won't really eat it. And that's what they're doing right now. They're just grabbing this bait and you can feel them pick it up. And you know, you go to get ready to hook set and they're already spitting it out. Or you hook set and you end up missing the fish or losing the fish. That was a freaking monster, dude. I saw his whole back come out of the water. Oh my gosh. Dude, there is, that might've been a seven, eight pounder, if not bigger. There's some monsters in this pond. All right, guys, it is time to switch up. So we have got the Senko complete, the Rage Crawl complete, the Rage Bug complete, the Menace complete, and our last two options come down to the swim bait and the frog. The frog we're saving for last because I'm excited about it and I just wanna save the best for last. For the swim bait, we're gonna go ahead and rig this up and we're just gonna put it on a Texas rig, man, which is something I would never do, but I think it can get the job done right now, especially with how these fish are just up on the bank. And uh, we can work it a few different ways with this Texas rig. We can reel it if we want, or we could hop it on the bottom, just like the crawl and the worm. I mean, we can work it multiple different ways with that rig. It was good to throw a moving bait for the first time today. You know, we were getting all those bites on this little corner. We might be able to trigger a reaction bite right here. Now you want the old swim bait. Oh my, big 
Biggin. Biggin. Oh my gosh, she's a monster. Stay pinned, baby. Stay pinned. She is running so fast. Oh my god, it's a tank. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Oh my gosh, guys, look at that. That is a good three and a half pounder right there. Smoked that swim bait, man. That is bait number five. Knocked off the list on almost a four pounder. I'd say she's a good three and a half, but she put up a sick fight and hammered that bait, man. Let's go. Thank you for biting, baby. There she goes. Wow. What a day this has turned into. We were throwing the swim bait for five minutes. Not even, maybe three minutes and got clapped, man. Totally smoked. And I'll tell you guys, we have one more bait today and that is the topwater frog. We have not caught a fish on topwater all year and we're about to witness our first topwater bite of 2024, baby. Let's go. So I'm actually just gonna use my extra wide gap hook for this. Hope it's all gonna work out fine and dandy. That frog's not too big. It should pan out. First things first, we had to take off our bullet weight. We're gonna tie this extra wide gap hook back on here. Boom, you're all good to go right there. Cut that puppy. And now for our frog. We've been waiting on this the whole day. And we're hopping right into it, boys. Right into this thing. Now I'm gonna be honest, if we catch fish on this quick, I'm gonna keep fishing because the fishing just seems really good right now. And we're just gonna rig it up like that. It's been a long time since I've thrown a soft plastic frog. And I would love to get smoked on this thing right now. This isn't the perfect rig for this frog. And I would like to throw this on braid. But we're throwing it on fluorocarbon because we don't have a braid set up at the moment. But this thing should work perfect. You can get away with throwing this frog or a buzz bait on fluorocarbon. Just for the fact of you keep the rod high and you're reeling the whole time. These, these fish are gonna smoke this thing. All right guys, this pond has been awesome and I would love to catch some more here, but we're gonna keep on moving. We're gonna go to a spot that I just think that they could be loaded and they might destroy this frog. All right, boys and girls, we are at a new spot now. Got our frog and it is time for our first top water bite, man. I have a weird feeling about this spot. When I came here about three weeks back, these fish already looked like they were staging up on bed heavy. And I feel like we could have some crazy bites right now. That's what I'm praying that happens. You have no idea how long I've been waiting to throw a frog. And this isn't usually the frog, like I like hollow body frogs, but just getting a bite on a bait that's technically a frog, well, it is a frog. It's a different type of frog. I've been waiting months for this bite. I'm just praying we can get one to come up. All right, that's two ponds with the frog, still no bites, but uh, let's keep on moving. Next pond with the frog. I would love to see a frog fish, guys. This is the one bait in the box that just seems like it could be a tough one, but I think we can get it done. Yeah, yeah, Oh no, I missed him. I missed him. Oh, gosh dang it, guys. Well, I got hit. My first top order strike of 2024. Oh, gosh dang it, man. That was such a far cast. And to not have braid to be on fluorocarbon trying to drive that extra wide gap through that frog. I mean, that was near impossible unless that fish just totally swallowed the bait. Dang, dude. Well, at least we got a bite. That gives me some hope. Into the forest we go. Into the forest we go. I'm just swam right out of this grass. Oh, big wool behind me. Oh, 
it right back in there. Dang it, man. My frog was like going sideways. I thought I was about to have it, guys. I thought we were about to get her. I'm feeling good about this bank still. I can just get this frog to run right. Come on, just one bite fish. Not asking for much. Give me one good bite. This is a shallow flat all right here. See, I couldn't get my bait on top of the water and he just bit it right there. I couldn't get it on top, man. Well, we can say we've got our first topwater bites of the year. We've had two fish try to eat this thing. Just not totally coming out of the water and smoking it. That first fish, he, he came out of the water and ate it. He just didn't have it all the way. But we're gonna keep on trying for a little bit longer. Yes! Yes, come on. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. That is our first topwater bass of 2024. Oh my gosh, not a big one, man. It is the smallest fish of the day, but that completes the tackle box fishing challenge with the dang topwater bass, boys. First one of 2024. Hopefully we'll have more to come.